All right, this is uh, per a video request on starting and stopping the stitch. I just got this sheath ready to stitch. Um, and so I am going to walk you guys through some details on how I do my hand stitched um, sheaths. This is called a saddle stitch and um, I use artificial sinew a lot of the time. I really like this artificial sinew. But um, depending on the thickness of the leather, the leather, this is gonna change what I'm about to say next. But um, the good rule of thumb is that you need three times the length of your uh, stitch. So if the length is that, you need three times that plus some extra to double over your needle and have something to hang on to. I um, I usually, for a, a, a little bit bigger sheath, a full wingspan is what I use as a, as a ballpark. Um, for this one, it's a little bit smaller of a sheath, so I can do a little less than. But a wingspan is more than enough for this sheath. You definitely don't want to run out of thread when you are at finishing your stitch and have to cut it all out and redo it. Um, so, got my um, artificial sinew, run it through the eye of the needle part way, doubling it over is all I do for the needle. I'm gonna start at the um, tip of the knife. Get my second needle same thing run some through the eye double it over now to start with you want equal amount of thread on either side so center point goes through the first hole like that now i'm going to take one needle and go through hole number two needle number two through that same hole, hole number two. Now I'm gonna double check that I'm still even and I'm gonna pull that snug. This would be hole number three, needle number one, and needle number two through the same hole, number three. pulling it snug, and then repeat. one hole here to go. I'm going to show you how I stop. So that's the last hole. Now we're going to do what's called a back stitch. So I'm going to reverse direction and go back through the second to last hole again. You want to make sure that everything stays tight while you push it back through because um, when you push it through it tends to want to push the other stitch out a little bit. And this is when you'll see me oftentimes in previous videos grab my pliers because it gets really difficult to pull that last stitch through as it should because it's tight and you want it to be tight. So that's what I did there is a back stitch one hole back you can do a second back stitch if you wanted to. Um, it's it's not necessary. I I rarely will do two back stitches. Almost always only do one, and I've never had a sheath come apart. Um, so I've cut eighth inch or a little over excess. Um, you kind of just stand that up and. Burn it back. I 
on both sides like that. And there you get there you have it. Back stitched one hole, doubled it through, and just burn it back. There's no knots. Um, there's no no fancy uh, you know ending. It's just back. It's called a back stitch. So the center of my thread began here, and then saddle stitched all the way, back stitched one hole, cut and burn. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.